And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. In December, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution expressing deep concern at serious, ongoing, and recurring human rights violations in the Islamic Republic of Iran. The resolution reflected in part the most recent report of Ahmed Shahid, the UN Special Rapporteur for Human Rights in Iran, and pointed to the alarming increase in executions, the widespread harassment of human rights defenders, journalists, and social media users, the pervasiveness of gender inequality, the serious restrictions on peaceful assembly, association, and expression. At the release of his report, Mr. Shahid also described the persecution of religious minorities, 500 of whom are reportedly in prison. This includes 126 Baha'i, 49 Christians, 9 Sufi or Dervish Muslims, members of the Arsan faith, and of newer spiritual movements. At least 150 Sunni Muslims are currently detained for reportedly organizing religious meetings and activities, many of whom have been charged with serious security offenses. The resolution on Iran was adopted a week after the United Nations celebrated Human Rights Day, December 10th, in honor of the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948, to which Iran is a party. In a statement for that day, President Barack Obama said, it is our obligation as free peoples to stand with courageous individuals who raise their voices to demand universal rights. The United States will continue to support all those who champion these fundamental principles. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.